The other day, I read a story about a woman who was sitting at her table reading her Bible when all of a sudden there was something that kept distracting her out of her peripheral vision. She turned to see that it was a little hummingbird that was flying by the window. Now, outside of this window, she had some artificial plastic flowers that were in a pot. And that little hummingbird flew up to that artificial flower and stuck its beak down inside. She said to herself, you're not going to get anything out of that, buddy. And it got nothing. So it flew away. But not very much longer, she seen it again as it flew up to the artificial flower and stuck its beak in. And then she said to herself, you little dummy, don't you know that there's nothing there for you? She said that was when she humbled herself because God had smote her heart and said that's the way that you are sometimes. And she realized that in life, she had been going to things that would leave her empty. Yes, she had been chasing fake flowers. There are things in your life that you can go to for comfort. You can go to because they're pretty and they look good in this world, but they leave you empty. This woman mentioned junk food. This woman mentioned social media. This woman mentioned the things of the world that will leave you empty. Yes, they look good. Yes, they're attractive. Yes, it, they seem to call your name, but they leave you empty. They're a waste of time, they're a waste of money, and it's wasted effort when you could be doing something for the glory of God. I'm guilty, you're guilty, we're all guilty, but today I want to encourage you to look out for plastic flowers. Look out for the things that will leave you empty, that will use up your energy and make you walk away with nothing, defeated, wasted. But can I tell you today that the things of God will fill you up. The things of God will strengthen you. The things of God will encourage you. The things of God will take you all the way to heaven. And I don't mean maybe. I want to encourage you today to seek things that matter. Seek things intentionally. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Set yourself up treasures in heaven. If you're laying up treasures on earth, you're chasing artificial flowers.